In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called picking a reduction or oxidation that will make a galvanic cell work. This problem is going to give us two pieces of information. First of all, it's going to give us a goal for the overall E cell for this particular galvanic cell. For this problem, I'm being told that the cell must provide at least 1.4 volts of power. So that's a way of saying that my E cell, my value of E cell, has to be um, equal to or greater than 1.4 volts. It's also gonna give us information about one of the half reactions in this cell. It's not gonna tell us what it is, but it'll tell us like for my case, the voltage of one of the half reactions is positive 1.12. And it also will tell us where that half reaction is going to occur. For me, the 1.12 volts is gonna be taking place at the cathode. So I know that my cathode potential is going to be 1.12 volts. And then we're asked to figure out what kind of options we have in terms of the anode. So the first thing that we're going to do is write out our E cell reaction. E cell is the E cat minus E n. And we know that the cathode minus the anode, whatever that is, it needs to be at least 1.40 volts. So I'm going to say 1.40 volts for the E cell, cathode minus anode needs to be equal to or greater than 1.4 volts. And since the problem told us that the cathode is 1.12 volts, I'm just going to plug that in as well. So now I just need to solve for the voltage of the anode. I'm going to move that 1.2 over to the other side, 1.40 minus 1.12. So I get 0.28 is less than or equal to negative E anode. And if we want to move that negative sign, we can do that, but we also have to flip around the equality sign. So this is telling me that the voltage of my anode needs to be equal to or less than negative 0.28. Let's take that information and go look at the questions that Alex is asking us. So the first thing it's asking us, the first two questions it's asking us, is if our anode has a minimum or a maximum. You're only going to check yes for either this box or this box right here. You can't have a both a minimum and a maximum. For us, um, we're looking learning that our voltage has to be either equal to or less than 1 point or excuse me 0 0.28 which means that we have a maximum voltage we have a maximum and that maximum voltage is negative 0.28 we don't have a minimum voltage it could be as low as it wants to be the last question is asking us to find a reaction that would work, a half reaction that would work, that would meet this criteria. So to do that, it's going to be helpful to look at your table of half reactions that are sorted by voltage. And we just need something that has a voltage that is less than 0.28 volts. So I'm just going to pick any one of them. Um, it really, we can just really pick any one. Maybe we'll pick the exactly 0.28 volt one, and that would be this one right here negative 0.28 and this is the co2 plus i'm just writing it down real quick here plus two electrons makes co now we do want to double check that this is written in the correct order it says write it in the order that it would actually occur at the anode the anode is where the oxidation takes place and oxidation is where we have the loss of electrons so we do need to turn this one around co and also don't forget we need to include the states cobalt solid makes cobalt two plus aqueous plus two electrons i'm going to cross this off uh, and this would work for this particular problem.